So hello and welcome to another edition of our interview series here at High Tech Connect. Today, I have another uh, AI expert, uh, Sepp, uh, Professor Sepp Hochreiter, who is the inventor of, uh, co-inventor of LSDM, a very, very famous uh, machine learning algorithm. It's used in many applications. Um, it's used in most of the phones for speech recognition, for example. Um, and now he brought out uh, the extension of it, XLSDM, and thinks that's uh, much better than what we uh, have heard recently uh, from America. And that's of the, the topic of today. Um, uh, hello, Seb. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, great to have you here and uh, looking forward to your, to your answers to, your, to my questions. Hi, Ralf. Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, I'm very happy to be here. Great. So uh, as everyone, uh, even uh, a big celebrity like you, um, we uh, uh, ask or I ask, to introduce yourself, uh, please keep it short. Um, of course, I know your background very well, but uh, our target group probably not. So maybe you, you briefly tell your professional uh, background uh, for, for those folks who don't know you. Yeah, my name is Sepp Hochreiter. I'm the head of the Institute of Machine Learning uh, in Linz in Austria at the university, uh, Johannes Kepler University Linz. Uh, I'm uh, uh, well known in the AI community because I invented, as you already mentioned, uh, the long short-term memory, which was in every uh, uh, iPhone, every Android. Uh, and uh, yes, I'm in this field, in this AI field uh, for 30 years. And yes, I'm trying to go ahead. Great. Okay. So uh, a real veteran pioneer also. Um... So yeah, regarding uh, your uh, original LSTM invention, co-invention, um, what, 25 years ago or so, um, um, th this got, uh, by now I looked it up, more than 90,000 citations. Um, I think if you have a thousand citations as a professor, you are already a rock star at the university. You have <laughs> 93,000, I think is the latest number, so it's unbelievable world record. So why do you think it is so so, so popular? Why have so many people uh, then uh, quoted this later on or uh, cited it? Uh, is there a specific reason for that? I, uh, as I invented it, I invented it. Uh, uh, and later uh, for publication, Jürgen Schmidt, my uh, supervisor, uh, came into it. I'm the inventor. Uh, uh, there, uh, there was no compute. There was no data. Uh, nobody uh, was interested in uh, this uh, stuff. And then uh, things changed as... Uh, uh, the deep learning uh, came in, and uh, uh, so at 2012 and so on, uh, uh, first Schoff Hinton saw it mm -hmm. and made it popular with Alex Graves, and then uh, Google, Baidu, Amazon, uh, Meta, Facebook at this time, mm -hmm. uh, adopted it, used it for everything uh, uh, concerning language and speech. Uh, everything you do on your cell phone or you record something, uh, it was used, for example, Amazon used it for translations, uh, online translation from French into English, uh, or for uh, setting some uh, uh, ads uh, and so on. Everybody used it. And uh, then at 2017, uh, so a new technology came in, the so transformer technology. But before, every big IT uh, company used LSDM on every cell phone, Alexa, what uh, you name it. Right, right. Okay, that explains it. Uh, is it still used anywhere today or, or it has been more or less replaced? Uh, what's, uh, what's your observation? Uh, in language, uh, uh, in most cases, uh, transformer used, but it has uh, very interesting uh, uh, applications like in climate change, uh, so mm -hmm. hydrology models, uh, so official model the uh, so US is using for uh, saying is there a flood or not, uh, is an mm -hmm. LSDM model. Uh, okay. Also in Canada, they used an LSDM model. It's this official warning uh, system. Also uh, in Israel, they use this official uh, warning system. It's based on an LSDM, but also in reinforcement learning, like uh, so Dota, StarCraft, uh, Go, uh, uh, they, they use LSDM models. It's still used, but mm -hmm. it's not used in the specific uh, field of natural language processing. Here, the transformer technology uh, kicked in and, and is now uh, overtaking everything. Right, right. So I must admit, when I studied it or uh, studying it uh, still uh, um, in, in data science, um, it, it uh, came across to me uh, very complicated. Uh, for, um, if I may say that, uh, lots of uh, gates, uh, input, output, uh, do the stuff the back again. And uh, it takes a while to get uh, uh, your your uh, head around this thing. Um, 
it's uh, is is that your experience with your students as well that uh, you need to and you have a special methodology to teach them uh, so they grasp it faster than uh, than the average one uh, like me yeah uh, this was uh, a, a problem from the beginning also as we published the first time said hey is this complicated thing mm. uh, i don't understand it is everything necessary why you use it and yeah. uh, as a researchers were skeptic but all of the components are important uh, as uh, was found out later uh, and how i teach it is how i uh, discovered it how i, I invented it it's mm. not the whole system i started with the uh, central uh, thing which i call constant error carousel how can i keep uh, uh, an error flow constant and if you do it part by part you have the first part central part then you have to add something and then you understand it if you okay. see the whole thing uh, you're overwhelmed and, and right. uh, say hey crazy this is crazy guy what what uh, is he doing but if you do it part by part and say hey now we have this problem you have to add this now we have this problem you have to add this and finally Uh, eventually you get a uh, whole uh, LSDM out. Yeah. I have an idea how to, because I, I'm teaching it for many years, uh, how yeah. to explain it. Okay. Well, I will come back to you because I still didn't fully understand all the all the things. Uh, it seems to make sense overall. And uh, of course it does a good job, uh, but uh, yeah. So uh, I uh, only had professors who uh, were throwing the whole thing in your face and <laughs> explained <laughs> the things. And then yeah, it exactly happened what you said. But let's go to uh, the future um, or the presence, uh, presence, um, present. Um, you announced um, famously uh, the XLSDM. So the, the new version of it. Can you, in a nutshell, for on a high-level basis, explain what is uh, now different uh, and to what uh, is special about uh, XLSDM that uh, you're bringing out now? It's super exciting for me right now. I will not reveal uh, details because uh, uh, we uh, are thinking about IP rights, uh, uh, what to do with it. Because the LSDM, as you know, uh, went to Google, Meta, uh, Baidu, Alibaba, uh, uh, but uh, Microsoft, but I want to keep this in Europe, this new idea. Uh, perhaps uh, I already mentioned LSDM was everywhere. Then in 2007, in Transformer take over, uh, took over. Uh, and the chat GPT, you have to know, chat GPT, uh, GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. The guys who uh, first programmed at Google were Andrew Carpathy, Ilya Suskefer, and Wojciech Saramba, two of them were founders. Uh, and All three of them are famous because of, of LSDM. Ilya mm -hmm. Sutzkefer because of sequence-to-sequence -sequence learning translation thing. Wojciech Saremba because he used LSDMs for all kinds of things, as uh, reinforcement learning, for example. And Andrew Capacity became famous. He did nothing. He made a blog on LSDM. So founders of mm -hmm. uh, OpenAI uh, were LSDM guys. And they always ask me, Uh, what to do, should we do a Turing test, then we came up with Dota. Wojciech focused on robotics, and one of the things was also the auto-regressive language model, mm -hmm. uh, and I uh, used the uh, technology which is now uh, uh, prevalent, uh, it's the transformer. But they used it in an auto-regressive way. Transformer are not made for auto-regressive, but I saw every uh, step I did. I knew the LSDM technique, I knew the new technique very well. And now I saw a possibility to combine both. Mm -hmm. And that's fantastic because what the transformer is doing, it's memorizing every token, every word, and goes back to every word. What LSTM was strong at and is uh, still strong at is doing abstraction uh, to combine words about sports, to combine words about uh, football, to combine words about the beach or whatever, mm -hmm. or, or uh, food. Uh, 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 it, Uh, does the semantics, it was strong in semantics. But semantics are not sufficient uh, because uh, uh, you lose something. You say it's a word about sports, but you don't know which word uh, it was. Yeah? Uh, but sometimes you have to remember exactly which word you used. Here, yeah. transformer are strong. Excel is them, brings both together. Okay. Both things. And this is also known from the human brain. You have a verbal uh, uh, working memory where you have both a phonological memory, you memorize the sound, but you even memorize the sound for words which have no meaning, but you also memorize semantics. Uh, if somebody is talking, uh, you immediately connect the words with the meaning of the words. Mm -hmm. And both the phonetics and the semantics are important. And this we do with XLSDM. That's one thing, to combine these both important parts. 
attention transformer the technique out so yeah, only uses one of the two things. The second thing is we uh, use exponential gating. Uh, even the LSDM was improved also by similar ideas uh, uh, as a transformer. And this is good for scaling laws. If you make the models larger and larger, the exponential uh, uh, gating is, is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And now I tell you what's happened. We combined it. So improved LSDM is exponential gating. Uh, and uh, we have two LSDMs, uh, uh, so standard LSDM, plus a vectoral LSDM, which is more uh, uh, like the tension. And uh, we uh, uh, made first experiments and compared it to uh, GPT. GPT-2 was out there. And what happened, you would not believe it, is in the first run, without fine-tuning anything on Wiki 103, so smaller data set, we were better than the GPT. But you have to know this transformer was fine-tuned, improved by the big companies for five years, 2017, perhaps mm -hmm. six years almost. And we did a first run. I'm 30 years in this field. It never happened that in the first run you are there. You always are close and then you tweak around, improve, and they get closer and closer until you beat it. But we have something we immediately beat this stuff which outside everybody is talking about this chat GPT. And uh, it's it's unbelievable. It's so fantastic. And we did now more and more and more experiments. And we always beat it. We beat it, beat it, beat it. But by a, a big margin. Hmm. All right. Well, that sounds uh, nearly too good to be true. But uh, um, I, I take you for granted, of course. Um, you had already given the interviews on this. Um, and uh, I, I saw that you were mentioning uh, a number of uh, 100 million uh, euros, which is uh, something that you would need to commercialize this, I guess, or bring it into applications. I don't know. Um, and uh, you also said that, yeah, you'd like to keep it in Europe. Um, so uh, first of all, uh, why 100 million? Why not uh, a billion? I, I mean, the, the chat GPT guys, they uh, got 10 billion now funding even, right? Um, so uh, the, these are huge. Not, not that 100 million would be not a lot of money, but in this space, they're talking the billions even right so um so what would this money be for and uh, and maybe also uh explain why you would like to keep this uh in europe and not just uh auction it off so to speak to the highest bidder and uh, you're done right so, yeah uh that would be easy uh, uh also uh for your last question uh there were guys uh, uh from Saudi Arabia uh, 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 saying perhaps I would finance it and also I had uh, uh, now uh, a meeting with Huawei in China uh, mm -hmm. as I said they would finance it uh, uh, I talk first about uh, why uh, uh, keeping in Europe uh, there was one uh, there were a couple of uh, uh, things one was uh, the deep mind guy said hey your LSDM is so fantastic uh, we uh, use it now for everything and the deep mind guys uh, said but if you have a new invention, we uh, set 100 guys uh, on it and overall you. You cannot make any uh, uh, new contributions or new, uh, uh, you cannot continue your work on LSDM. And this was frustrating. You invent mm -hmm. something, just that you cannot do it because we are more powerful. And uh, I want to keep it in Europe so that I still can collaborate, uh, improve it, push it. Uh, and then the other thing was, I was always asked, and how much money did you make with uh, LSDM? Uh, uh, what did you bring you? I said, yeah, nothing, not a cent, nothing. Uh, and now, I, I, uh, and why did you not keep this technology in Europe? Yeah, because I published it in the Americans or the Chinese uh, uh, took it and, and, and implemented it. Now I tried to keep it in Europe. Uh, uh, I put it on a, on a silver plate and offer it. Everybody can invest. Uh, uh, then the question is, uh, why do I need some money? I need some money for poor research, for, for doing, uh, for uh, checking the scaling laws. Uh, you don't, as open AI did and so on, you, stand, uh, you don't start with a big model. You do smaller models, tweak around the smaller models. And look, if you make the smaller models larger, it gives them more data, does it get better? Then you make a line. Uh, uh, if, you, if I increase the model, if I increase the data, it's getting better. And if this uh, line holds, if this scaling law holds, then I know I only need one, train one big model because the smaller models already told me I can go one step bigger. And we're doing this. I want to make a line. 
Yeah, we have the XL is there, it's better than transformer for a small model, 125 million uh, parameters. For 350 million parameters, we are better. For uh, 760 million uh, parameters, we are better. For 1.3 billion parameters, we are better. For 7 billion uh, parameters, we are better. We're always better, 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 better than transformer. This is a scaling law. And then we know now we can do a very big model because we will beat it again. Mm -hmm. And I need the money to do these smaller uh, uh, models. <coughs> Excuse me. The smaller models are small for, for Microsoft Meta, but they're big for us. For us, it costs a lot of compute. And I said 300 million euros only to do the compute, only to uh, rent the uh, GPUs or bicycle GPUs. Uh, right now, I see nobody can buy it because they're not on the market. You have to try to rent it. Uh, only to, to show this XLSDM is absolutely uh, uh, killing uh, this uh, transformer things. And uh, my goal is to, to kick OpenAI from the market. It cannot be that such a bad technology, a non-autoregressive technology is used for this language. It cannot be. And I want to show we have something better. Uh, and a big, go, pro yeah, a big yeah. problem I have right now is my PhD students. I said, the PhD students, you cannot, you cannot publish right now. Mm -hmm. And see, we are better, we are better, we are better. We have something everybody is talking about, but we have, with every run, a better results. How to keep these PhD students uh, uh, back? Uh, I cannot do it. And even uh, one guy tried it, as, as told you at the beginning, the hydrology uh, thing. Use the XLSDM for uh, 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 hydrology. And even Serbia much better. I said, no, keep it down. Uh, don't tell anybody about it. Uh, so they're so excited, all my students, because they see we have such a big thing in our hand. Okay. I don't know how to keep them down. Here we go. Uh, yeah, sounds, uh, sounds nearly too good to be true. But uh, again, I take you for granted. Um, and of course, you are... You're a scientist, uh, uh, academic, uh, who uh, has a, a, a great track record. Um, so, but one question I have is, uh, it, this sounds a bit nearly also naive, uh, I apologize for that word, uh, but uh, I mean, to try to keep uh, certain technology uh, in, yeah, in this, in this case, uh, in Europe or something uh, seems, uh, seems hardly, hardly doable or imaginable. Um, uh, simply because, uh, yeah, you can, it's 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 difficult to control where where things is used and uh, where people are going and uh, you know and and so forth. Uh, so uh, are you are you uh, um, are you uh, confident that, that this can be done? And uh, and again, uh, why not be able to work with someone uh, in, in let's say in the US, where it's much more investment, where a hundred million is uh, much easier to do also uh, because they're used to spend billions and more. Um, and then, of course, you know you you could uh, still uh, still have control of it. Uh, so so totally, it's not totally uh, clear to me now. Um, but what you said, why why you want to keep this in Europe? Um, quite frankly, so yeah. uh, to be uh, to be honest, uh, because I'm so excited about this. If I don't get some money here in Europe, I will go to Meta. I will go to Microsoft or to Google uh, to do it, or even with Saudi Arabia. I, I don't care because I want to see. Can I really be better again? I have the LSM and now I, I do it again. Uh, I want to see it. And uh, here, uh, I don't care whether it's in Europe or somewhere else because I want to see the technology uh, succeed. Uh, uh. But first of all, I keep it back because I was always asked, uh, why not uh, keep it here? You invented it in, in Munich and blah, blah. Uh, uh, and everything is gone. I don't know whether we can keep it here. But if we have an advantage, let's say half a year, a year, because my guys now work for a year on this stuff, uh, uh, doing fine tuning, uh, doing uh, writing cuter kernels. We have so much advantage. And if we do it with another company, uh, I don't know whether they can uh, 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 go against uh, Google or, or, or uh, do an alternative thing, but I would try. It could be it fails down because the uh, Americans uh, take it or, or have some trick to do it, or they keep it out of the market. It could also be that they say, we have the transformer technology and they push us down somehow. I don't know what's happening. I will try because if it stays here, if some companies are using here, I have for my lifetime collaboration, I can for my lifetime uh, work on it, have new ideas. If it's at Google, I'm out of the game. I can look from the outside 
what's I do with my LSDM? Hey, I want to be part of the game. I want to I want to have uh, the new ideas also to be uh, in the thing and uh, be proud that we did it. Okay. Well, okay, I hear you. Yeah, sounds like it's your baby and you don't want to give uh, let the baby out of the house and yes. uh, keep control of it, sort of. Uh, it's understandable, but every mother, father, uh, I'm, I'm one... Uh, knows that at some point they, they're moving out. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, uh, will be there some, what if you don't succeed uh, finding someone here, then uh, you said, okay, yeah, you then do what I, uh, what I uh, ask you, give it to the highest bidder sort of, you have already seemed to have offers uh, to do that. And uh, yes, um, that's, that's, uh, that's basically then the logical consequence. Uh, uh, since you cannot say anything about the details, I will not ask you, um, but uh, if someone uh, is interested, let's say, you would uh, demonstrate it to them, I guess, you know, would be behind closed doors or something because they don't want to buy, you know, the thing uh, uh, without uh, some proof or so. Um, that's, of course, uh, you would do. And so forth. Uh, I'm very careful, especially if, uh, like, if Ilya Suskiver from Open Eye would come, I will not show him anything. But okay. if it's uh, some European uh, uh, companies or whatever, that's much better for me. Uh, I can, at uh, what I can uh, always show as uh, so, so runs, uh, uh, as experiments, we are, Here's mm. transformer, and we are below it. We are we have uh, we are better in predicting the next word. We are better uh, in uh, pre-training the language models. I can uh, show the runs, but right. I would not go into the mathematics mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not sure because, uh, yeah, I don't know. We have a we have an advantage of uh, a year or whatever. But if somebody is fast uh, and does re-implement, I'm a little bit scared oh, okay. uh, because right. it's so, so much better. I said if somebody thinks uh, it's uh, I can invest, I, you have to. Uh, I have to tell this. We are not only better; we are we are better in the performance. But what's even interesting is the transformer is quadratic in the name number of words it's processing in the number of contexts. We are linear in the number of contexts. We are better and much faster. We need for the same thing much less compute, less mm -hmm. GPUs, less uh, energy. Uh, Uh, less costs in computing. We are not only better, we are faster. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, I just wanted to ask you actually exactly this question. You already answered it. Uh, in, in what way are you better? Um, so you, you are more accurate, uh, but uh, yeah, in, in terms of uh, compute efficiency, that's of course, uh, yeah, one of the challenges and the reasons why they need so much investment uh, in the billions uh, because uh, it keeps the, the, the uh, they need a huge compute which needs huge energy and everything um and yes. therefore you know okay makes all sense um i don't want to keep you back from looking for that good luck yes um, thank you thank yeah you. so uh it's something that we at high tech connect of course also promote that we like uh europe to uh to catch up on things um in high tech and uh, that's the cool. whole purpose of what we are doing here and uh, yeah looking forward to hearing a success story uh, and um, if it's in europe great if not uh, wherever it's uh, it's in in whichever hand hands it lands and um, and uh, yeah. all the best. Uh, what what comes after that? You will retire, um, or then you're looking for the XX? <laughs> uh, I uh, don't know. Uh, depends yeah. what ideas I have. Uh, this is now I'm focused on this. Right. But there are other things to build up uh, larger facilities uh, to do simulation with uh, uh, also for industry uh, where. Uh, there were the physical simulations and now the neural sim uh, simulations come more and more in. That's one of the things I also want to go after the XLSDM is somehow uh, fixed. And uh, there are other ideas, but uh, who knows? I'm not I'm not uh, focused uh, to some specific thing in the future. First right. XLSDM because it's so fantastic. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh, thanks again, Seb. Uh, all the best to you sure. and uh, your your researchers. And uh, sure, we'll hear more. Thanks. Bye. Thank bye. You. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.